What is going on guys? Joey Suggs here. Welcome to a video, a new video, and a pretty interesting video. I don't think I've ever been in this situation before. I am not lying when I tell you that I legitimately have nothing in my fridge. Like nothing in my fridge. A little bit of like random stuff that I probably need to clean out anyways, and uh, some protein bars in here. So I obviously need groceries. By the way, the freezer does not look much better. There's not a whole lot in there, and most of that is probably not good either. So I think you know where this is going. I gotta get some groceries. I have been out of town for like the majority of the past two weeks, so that's why I don't have any, but it's definitely time to get back on track, and the best way to do that is with a huge grocery haul. So sadly, I can't do POV. I don't have my GoPro with me, but uh, we're going to take this camera into the grocery store and I'm going to show you everything that I'm picking up to build muscles, stay lean, stay on track, do everything the right way. And as always, we'll come home and make some awesome recipes with the stuff that we get. So do me a favor right now, hit the thumbs up button for me now so you don't forget and you already know it's going to be a good video. Now, let's hop in the car, go to the grocery store and knock out this I'm assuming gonna be a very long and intense grocery haul. By the way, uh, just gonna go to Publix, the local grocery store, no Costco yet, but I will be going to that soon, so stay tuned for that video. All right, we'll go ahead and start with a nice little snack, some hummus, and this is BOGO. So that's nice and helps out. Also, this Fresh Cravings brand actually has really good macros too, 60 calories for two tablespoons, that is solid. Monsters are on sale, so definitely gonna grab some of these. Gonna grab some pretzel crisps to go along with the hummus. All right, when it comes to cheeses, I like a few different things. One, fat-free feta. I'm not sure if you can read that, but 35 calories and seven gram protein, pretty much crumbled protein. These cheese wedges are like 35 calories and really tasty. And right near that, we have some turkey pepperonis. And I'll grab some of these beef biltong packs. Absolutely crazy macros in these. 32 grams of protein, 160 calories. And Kraft makes fat-free mozzarella and cheddar, but I'm just gonna get the mozzarella for right now. Not super related, but I do like these Mick Ultra Seltzers. All right, and last cheese, I promise, some Velveeta Singles. One of the lowest calorie singles out there. Gonna grab some low calorie, low sodium turkey bacon, and might as well grab some lunch meat as well. All right, now we're getting into our main proteins, and I really like these uh, boneless chicken cutlets. They're like thin chicken breasts. And because I'm eating a little more calories now, I'll get some chicken thighs too. Always like to have a good variety, and these lean pork chops are very very good as well. And I haven't been loving ground turkey recently, but I have been really enjoying this 96.4 lean ground beef, so I'll grab two of these. Just spotted this deal, and I feel like it's pretty good. We have a BOGO on shrimp, and I do really enjoy shrimp, so this will be perfect. Salsa happens to be BOGO, so I'll grab two of these. And to go along with it, uh, my favorite tortillas and also some pretty good macro tortillas. I think these are like 60 calories. Not too bad at all. Working into the middle aisles right now, uh, I will not say these are really the healthiest thing. They're very calorie dense, but they are very tasty. And it's just some wholesome medley granola, but they are very good. I also enjoy these body armor zero sugars, especially after like a long night of drinking. Very helpful. So pasta sauce is the one thing that I have at home that I do not need, but I am gonna grab some of these bags of ready pasta. I know it's like super lazy, but it's a good serving size, 310 calories, and it's so quick to make easy pasta. And although I am a fan of the Uncle Ben's rice, very similar to the pasta, I'm actually gonna get something else this time that I enjoy a little more, but that won't stop me from getting some of the powdered mashed potatoes. Uh, don't hate me until you try it because they're actually very good and the macros are very good as well, especially if you just get the very, very plain ones and add your own stuff. All right, and this seasoning that I butcher every time the pronunciation I'm getting more of, as well as cinnamon, I've been eating a lot of oatmeal with cinnamon in it recently and I've been enjoying that. So sauces are one of the few things that I don't need to get, but if you are looking for a low calorie sauce, I do recommend the G Hughes Sugar Free. All of their barbecue sauces are very good, as well as the absolute staple Frank's Red Hot Buffalo zero calories in this stuff, and I do put this shit on everything. I will take the opportunity to get some more Willie's chocolate chips. I enjoy these in a couple different desserts and things like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and load up on normal eggs. I might try and boil my own eggs sometime, as well as these egg beaters here. 
pretty much just egg whites, but they do taste a little better than plain egg whites. So grabbing these. And right next to the eggs, we have Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt, and I'll grab both of them. All right, breakfast aisle, and um, the Quicker Quaker Oats has been my oat of choice recently, so I'm getting these, along with some Aunt Jemima Light. I'm always gonna call it Aunt Jemima. All right, so in a recent video, I tried the ghost protein with marshmallows. The PB is here as well. I guess I'll just get a box of each because they're BOGO right now. And to go along with that, some fat-free Fairlife milk. All right, and they finally have my favorite bagel thins that are like super low calorie. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but that's 80 calories for a bagel thin. That is really, really good. Don't need peanut butter or jelly. I do have that at home, but I am gonna grab more of this lesser evil popcorn. Pretty low calories and very, very tasty. To go with the bagels, I'll grab some less third fat cream cheese. All right, and we're now in the fruits and veggies section. I've talked about my recent obsession with Cosmic Crisp apples, and uh, I'm just gonna take the last three. I'm gonna grab some bananas. I was gonna grab some blueberries, but honestly, they don't look that good. Uh, I'll grab some strawberries instead. Then for veggies, I like to keep it pretty simple. This broccoli slaw is actually really good. So I'll grab that, some asparagus, and some green beans. Always nice to have like a little salad kit on you. So I'll grab some romaine hearts, some baby spinach, and two of my favorite dressings, the Simply Ranch, 50 calories per two tablespoons, and the Creamy Caesar by them, also 50 calories for two tablespoons. Both really, really good. As always, for my carb sources, I love combination of getting some sweet potatoes and grabbing just some standard russet potatoes. Also a nice carb source in a snack, some lightly salted rice cakes. I always like to check out their like protein snacks and things. They do have the Fitzels, which are actually really good. I'll actually grab some of these, um, but that's pretty much all that I see that looks decent over here. Oh, and I almost forgot, I really, really need some squeeze garlic like this. So good for cooking vegetables and things like that. All right, and we're gonna wrap up in the freezer section and with some of my favorite like all-in-one mixes and that is these Path of Life mixes. They're all like right around 300 to 400 calories per bag and they're all really good. And then I said I didn't wanna get the normal like bag rice because I wanted to get this which is just frozen rice, but in a bag, but I can portion control it much better and doesn't have all the oils and stuff that the other rice does. All right, and then we're gonna wrap it up with one dessert that I have been missing dearly as of recently, and that are the and that is these little outshine bars. 40 calories per popsicle, but they're just so good. I don't know why, but I crave them. All right, here is the cart. Uh, I did get some Dr. Pepper Zeros and some Zero Sugar ginger ale as well, but very, very full cart. And um, they also closed like five minutes ago, so I'm a little rushed. Hope I didn't forget anything. If so, you'll see it right now. Let's check out of here. All right, we're home. Most of the things put away. Just a brief reminder, literally this is how my fridge left before I left the house. Now, here is how we are looking. It does seem a lot more stocked now. Um, some of this stuff will definitely be moving out of here or to somewhere different, but I think we did it. I do still have like all of this stuff to put away, but all in all, I was, it was a pretty successful haul. It was 370 something dollars, which in this economy is probably like a week's worth of food. But let me finish putting some of this stuff away and then we can make some new fun recipes with everything that we got. All right, it's now the next day and now we can get into using some of the stuff that we got at the store to make some nice high protein, lower calorie, healthy, good recipes. And we might as well start with breakfast and go in order from there. And honestly, I'm hungry. I want a big breakfast. I want a tasty breakfast and a variety of things. And that is exactly what we're gonna have. Come in the fridge and grab two eggs plus our egg beaters. All right, so we'll start with the egg beaters first to get a nice base layer, then one egg. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and break the yolks now, and I'm gonna try and make an omelet, so I'm gonna use these turkey pepperonis and layer them on. Go ahead, cover this, let it cook up. All right, and while the eggs cook, I'm gonna put some turkey bacon in the microwave. 
The Butterball is probably, it's definitely one of the lowest calories, but it's also one of the best ones to cook in the microwave. Like it just gets crispy. So we'll toss that in for a few minutes. All right, omelet ready for a flip. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Then over top, I'm gonna put one of these Velveeta cheese slices. All right, I forgot I wanted this until right now, but we're gonna make one of these 80 calorie keto bagels. So this can just go in the toaster. All right, out of the toaster, we're gonna do my favorite combo, some of the third fat, one third fat cream cheese, and then finish it off with a little bit of Crofter strawberry jelly. All right, and this is exactly what I could have dreamt of having, a very large, tasty, um, probably pretty high protein and uh, nice breakfast. I gotta dive into one of these because I want something sweet to start. Yeah, the cream cheese jelly combo is fantastic. The bagels, if you're not used to having like a thin bagel, it might be a little different for you, but the 110 calorie bagels taste exactly like these. So I really don't see a need in getting those over these. So that's a nice little calorie savings. The turkey bacon, I like my bacon nice and crispy and that definitely checks the box. Now the omelet, I'm not gonna lie to you and say this is like a extremely desirable looking omelet. I don't know why, I did forget to put salt and pepper on it. That might be part of it. But also, uh, I figured I'd put some Frank's Red Hot on there. Just a nice little drizzle of that. And this is a pretty good sized bite. Definitely can confirm it does taste better than it looks. That's always a good thing. And when you put all the calories and macros in, also a pretty good thing. Uh, 616 calories, that's not that many calories for how much volume you're getting in this breakfast meal. And you pop into the macros, uh, good amount of fat, which is good to have in the morning, um, and a good amount of protein, 64 grams of protein in there as well. So I would definitely consider this a lower calorie, higher protein, good start to a day for a breakfast meal. And that means it's gonna be a good rest of the meals coming soon. So I'm gonna finish this for breakfast and then it's on to the next one. All right, time for a lunch recipe, but before that, take a peek at the uh, new color of these performance tees from TLF. So these just dropped, it's like this color and then a sage green color as well. Both really good options, shirts and shorts too. I feel like both the colors are gonna be really good for like the fall time coming up, so check it out, link down below. Uh, also extremely comfortable, very stretchy, breathable, very nice. Now. For lunch today, I'm thinking we keep it kind of simple and make a little wrap. All right, so we'll go ahead and start out with two of these carb counter wraps. And in each one, I'm gonna do a cheese wedge. And this I'll just spread around evenly. Then I'll just do a little bit of light mayo, some deli mustard, and then we can go ahead and layer on the lunch meat. Lastly, we'll add some greens and top it with some baby spinach. And that should be ideal and we can roll it up. All right, and we have our nice two little tightly rolled wraps. To go along with it, I figured it's a good opportunity to try out the pretzel crisps as well as the jalapeno hummus. But first things first, that's not a bad looking wrap by any means. And not a bad tasting wrap either. Actually, that's, that's pretty good. So quick, simple to make, pretty damn tasty. Decent amount of volume, I would say. Let's try out the hummus. I mean, that's pretty good looking. It's got like a nice garnish over top. Pretzels, hummus. Yeah, that's uh, that's always gonna be a great combo right there. I like watched one of my old videos a while back. I've been eating these for probably like seven or eight years now. How insane is that? And they still never get old. Pretty uh, interesting flavor on this hummus. Ha honey jalapeno. Definitely is like sweet at first, nice kick afterwards. Yeah, all around, very happy with lunch today. And I'd say all around, it's a pretty balanced lunch as well. Uh, 640 calories roughly in this, not too bad at all. Pop it in the macros, decent amount of protein, 42 grams of protein. So yeah, that would keep us right on track if this was a full day eating. So very happy with this recipe, with this meal. Um, and this is something that I would literally make multiple times throughout the week. Quick, simple, effective gets the job done and tastes good as well. All right, and to wrap things up, I wanted to do a little dinner meal and um, I haven't made my pork chops yet and I haven't made pork chops in a while. So I'm pretty excited to make pork chops tonight for dinner. So a pan over medium heat and I'm gonna season the pork chops with the Tony Cherries, Chacharachis. 
I don't know how to pronounce it, but I do know that I do enjoy the seasoning and it is good on pork chops. All right, so we'll go ahead and let those cook up pretty quickly. And while these are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead in another pan and put the entire bag of broccoli slaw. By the way, this entire pan of broccoli slaw only has 100 calories in it. So that is a lot of volume there. And while both of those cook up, I'm gonna grab my bag of frozen rice and simply just toss this in the microwave for I think about five minutes. Out of the microwave comes the rice and we're actually gonna dump the entire bag into the mixture of slaw. Go ahead and give this a good stir. Hit it with some salt, some pepper, and for some reason I feel like this might be good. I'm gonna put a couple servings of the G Hughes teriyaki sauce in there as well. All right, with this done, I split it up into just two portions. That way it's easy to track. So one portion can go in as our base. And I just thought of this, but I think it'd be a good opportunity to use some of the fat-free feta so we can crumble some of that over top. And lastly, layer on some of our pork chops that turned out, I mean, incredible. And that should be perfect for dinner tonight. All right, and dinner is served, and I'm very happy with how this turned out. Like I said, haven't made pork chops in a little while, but turns out I can still make them. So we'll go ahead and try that first. As expected, it is delicious. Um, a really nice tenderness. The kick from the seasoning comes through quite a bit, actually. And it got a little bit of like a char on there from the pan being hot. Very, very good. And our mixture of rice, broccoli slaw, and now some feta cheese over the top. Interesting indeed. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's a little messy to eat with a fork. Maybe it's more of a spoon food. But I do feel like it's a really good combo. It's a really voluminous combo with not that many calories too. So yeah, as a base for something like this, I think it works out really well. Teriyaki, I don't know, trying something new. I think it turned out decent. Maybe not my top choice, but good regardless. And all around, I would have this meal as much as I could possibly put it down my throat. It's a very good meal. And not only is it good tasting, it's actually pretty damn solid when you look at the macros. Uh, 517 calories, that's a good amount of calories for a nice dinner. And with that, right under 50 grams of protein, 49 to be exact, with fats and carbs nicely balanced in there. So you don't have to eat just chicken and rice all the time. You can definitely switch it up, just like I did in this dinner. And honestly, pretty happy with how it turned out, just as I'm pretty happy with how this video turned out, how the grocery haul turned out, and all the recipes turned out. If you're happy as well, make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below. Don't go anywhere. Make sure you get subscribed. I have more videos coming, and I will be very happy to share that with you in the next one. Peace. This the end zone. If you reckon with it, put your hands up.